Niagara Falls has for centuries been the pulling force for visitors from around the world. But until this year, a 670-meter tunnel built more than a century ago on the Canadian side has been off-limits to visitors. But since July 2022, it has been a part of the tours of decommissioned Niagara Parks Power Station tour, which began a year earlier. The power station was operated from 1905 until 2006, diverted water from the mighty Niagara River to run giant generators that electrified regional industry and contributed to the nearby Great Lakes port of Buffalo, becoming known as the City of Light. Originally operated by the Canadian Niagara Power Company, the Niagara Park Station today is the world's only fully intact hydroelectric plant of its era. Built during a time when aesthetics ruled, its rustic limestone exterior and blue roof tiles were made in an attempt to make the structure blend in with the falls. Visitors are provided with a tour of the power station so as to see for themselves how engineering works are employed to convert the pounding waters into electricity. Water comes in, runs down a shaft to power turbines and then goes through a tunnel to a discharge point at the base of Horseshoe Falls, the largest of Niagara's three cascades. The senior director of engineering and operations with the Niagara Parks Commission showed how the plant began with two generators to later being 11 in 1924, all of which are present therein to date. A glass elevator takes visitors down 55 meters past the six levels of infrastructure required for the hydropower generation process. The one-of-a-kind tunnel is almost 8 meters tall and 6 meters wide, at the bottom of which the water would exit. When the water levels reach heights, chalky white marks become evident on top of the arched brick walls. The tunnel once held 71,000 gallons of water that moved at 9 meters per second. The gently curving tunnel comprises of four layers of bricks and 18 inches of concrete, surrounded by shale and on the outlook resembles that of a fortress. The only ever major maintenance done was twice since its inception, once in the 1950s and then in the 1990s. Near the end of the tunnel, Natural light pours in as the path exits onto a 20-meter river-level viewing platform that is almost at the base of Horseshoe Falls. This, they say, is the best place to see the falls. An evening show titled Currents Niagara's Power Transformed provides the power plant experience through the use of light and sound at its very best and also includes 3D projections of surging water, turbines and sparks of electricity. An entire visit of the power station takes around two hours, but the evening show calls for a night stay. While being a place of natural beauty, one cannot help but think how natural forces out there continue to shape our modern lives.